Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Lenovo ThinkPad 11e. It's an 11.6 inch laptop, and it's going to be available in a couple of different models running Windows or Chrome OS. This is the Chrome version, and it's aimed at education, but it'll be available at retail with the prices uh, starting at about $349. Um, for the Chrome model in May or so, uh, Windows models should be available uh, for a little bit more money starting in uh, maybe April, maybe May. And um, so again, prices start at 349, uh, $349, go all the way up to 699 depending on the configurations you get. So this model is going to be one of the fancier Chrome models because as you can see, it's actually yoga style. Uh, Lenovo sort of innovated the yoga multi-mode uh, setup. So you have a tent mode, you have a presentation mode, you have a uh, tablet mode, and that'll make this one of the first uh, Chrome devices to feature not just a touch screen, but also the ability to use it in tablet orientation. So uh, right now, I don't think the on-screen keyboard is available, but you can see that we do have, well, theoretically we do have uh, touch screen capabilities. I don't know if it's working that way right now. Um, but uh, let's see. Well, here, let me show you. We can swipe on this one. This is another prototype. Uh, in terms of the keyboard, it's got a similar keyboard to other 11.6 inch uh, ThinkPad models. This is the Chrome version though, so instead of function keys up here, we've got dedicated keys for refresh, uh, back, forward, uh, volume, and so forth. And um, we don't have Lenovo's uh, track point system here, but you do have a nice wide touchpad uh, below the keyboard instead. Uh, in terms of ports, uh, you can see that we've got Ethernet, H uh, let's see, Ethernet, um, is that the charging? Port. This yeah. charging port and Ethernet will be available on the Windows version, okay. not on the Chrome. Okay, USB, SD card slot. On the other side, we've got uh, volume buttons and power button. They're on the side here because when you're holding this particular model in tablet mode, you can access it like a tablet. HDMI, USB, and uh, I think that's a screen orientation lock button. Uh, this model also, uh, it, it's not the first 11.6 inch Chromebook to have a touch screen. Acer also has one that uh, sells for a little bit less. The difference is A, this uh, will come with the option to do tablet orientation, and B, this is, as I mentioned, aimed at education market, and so it's a little bit sturdier than your typical Chromebook. So it's got a uh, reinforced Forced, uh, what did you say this was? A uh, uh, pillow top or domed lid to reinforce to protect against screen breakage. Uh huh. And Rounded corners, rubber bumpers. Those keys you mentioned are actually anchored in, so kids can't pull them off. Mm -hmm. um, and those kinds of things. So very durable. So it's it's really meant to uh, to take a beating from, uh, from the little ones. Uh, you can see the specifications okay. here. We've got a uh, 1366 by 768 pixel IPS display. Weighs about 3.3 pounds. And this particular model has an Intel Celeron Bay Trail processor. And and oh, 2 and 920 uh, I mean, processor. We'll the there will also be versions of the Windows the models that come with four uh, i series processors. And um, I'm actually curious about uh, the, okay. about the, uh, the Bay Trail version offers up to eight hours of battery life. Um, it should get pretty good battery life on the 4i series because um, because it's also going to have a Haswell processor, but you're going to get more than six hours on that particular version. So again, Chrome OS, uh, clamshell or yoga style. Windows or Chrome, uh, Lenovo ThinkPad 11e, prices starting at $349 for the uh, most basic models, going up to $699 for the uh, fanciest models, I guess you could say, or the uh, Windows models with a Core i processor and um, similar overall design, yoga style. So, again, Brad Lender with Lilliputing and the ThinkPad 11e Chromebook.